Hello everyone and welcome to Slip Join Sawyer. Today we're going to be checking out new, two new products from SOG, so that's a study and observations group. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Aegeus MT, which is like a little uh, pair of pliers multi-tool. And along with that we're going to be looking at the, the SOG Terminus Slip Joint. So we'll start out with the Aegeus. See it comes in a sort of clam shell packaging. Bit of information about the product here, you can see it's got a 4.5 inch length open, close length 3.2, and then the weight we are looking at 2.4 ounces. It is of course designed in the US and guaranteed for life, and on the back here we have a couple of different specs as well. So we have some needle nose pliers, some soft wire cutters which are great, they do imply their um, grip and snip technology which I will show you on the product, it's something I've really been using and found very useful on this. We have a blade, tweezers, and a bottle opener on there as well. And of course, we have that more information on the back. So we've got the Aegeus MT as a perfect outdoor companion that matches the rest of the Aegeus family of knives. Aegeus MT features an ambidextrous design with an ergonomic handle and grip pattern for comfortable use. Don't let the Aegeus size fool you. The tweezers, bottle opener, knife, and patented compound leverage mechanism system in this tiny tool is mighty. And I will agree with that. These pliers have been absolutely fantastic for me and really enjoyed using those. So here it is, a GSMT, and this of course is in the black and the green, sort of like sort of like an olive drab green. You can see we have the SOG logo on the back here. We have the study and observations group, which of course is SOG, and then the GSMT on the front here. Here is the patented cog design, which they were talking about on the front. So as you open it, you can see the cogs interlock each other. Really great. And it, it works wonderfully well. You can actually like flip it open and flip it closed. The action on it is really good. It's nice and smooth. If you want a one-handed opening, you can flick it round. So on the externals then, we do have the tweezers. So you'd access them by pushing this little bit back here. And then you can just pull the tweezers forward. See? Pretty decent grip size on the end there. What's that? Probably like three or four mil worth of grip. Have used these to pull out a couple of tweez uh, full of splinters from my hand. Work wonderfully well. Got a nice point on there as well, so you can get right in to grab the whatever's stuck in you or picking up small bits. Excellent little bit of kit get on those. We also have the blade on there too, and this is 440A, so it would be like a backup blade for me. Haven't really used it that much. I've used it, it tested it, and it's sharp, but I haven't really put it much to the test apart from that, as this would be a secondary sort of tool for me. So you've got the black wash, you've got the nail nick here as well, a little bit of jimping on the top. I wouldn't press too hard on that though, because it is a slip joint and you will break that, and if it, I mean, if it closes, it will close straight on you. But a great secondary little knife, maybe for opening boxes, quick little bit of work. Nothing better than that, really. Edge on there again is really well. You can see, you know, Nice, decent amount taken off. I'd say that's probably, we're looking at like maybe a, a 20 degree angle on that. So nice and sharp, nice and slicey to do. Quite thin behind the hedge as well, so that's nice to see. And then the main function of this, of course, is the pliers. So this is the way around I would sort of grab them. I'd use the, the larger part would be in my palm, and then the smaller part would go there. And very nice spring actioned as well. Really great bit of kit. See the grip and snip mechanism there, and that's so it's fully spring action as well. I'm trying to get a bit of the grease off there so you guys can see. And what I was mentioning about the grip and snip, so you can see the grip, the snips have the teeth all the way down, like at the very end, so it would take hold and then snip, which I think is great because sometimes if you say if you're cutting through wires and there it's just the exposed metal, if you try and grip them in normal pliers, when you squeeze, sometimes they slide out the top. But with this, I've not had that trouble at all. And you can see fully covers over each other. And, you know, it snips through stuff that you really think they shouldn't be able to. Again, really enjoy how that folds up into such a compact packet. I've been carrying this along with the knife in a Viperade VE15. And I'll just give you a quick look now how that would fit in there. So I've mainly been carrying them in this. I've just been putting them in the big pouch. Fit in there really nice. Stick out the top a little bit, but that's good that you can grab them, pull them out. No chance of them sliding out. Fit in there wonderfully in the Vibrate VE15. And again, nice spring action. It does spring all the way up so it doesn't get stuck or anything like that. And really well made as well. I've been really, really impressed with the quality of this and how 
how well designed it is. And it does go down to quite a small package as well. So there you go, guys. That's the GSMT. Next up, we'll take a look at that SOG Terminus. See, it comes in this quite large style box. See, so you have the study and observations group at the top. Terminus SJ for slip joint. You can see it's advertising the Cryo D2 tool steel. It's a universal knife compliant with the slip joint lock, so it doesn't lock. It's under the three inch blade length, so not an issue carrying it here in the UK. G10 handles and a reversible pocket clip, which is nice to see for the left handed people too. Bit of the spec at the bottom. So this is the Mark II version of the Terminus. We have a full weight of 2.8 ounces, blade length of three inches dead on with a 75 millimeter cutting edge, closed length of 4.2 inches, and an overall length of 7.1. We have the SOG website at the bottom here, and you can see where it says cut here, and this would just sort of slide out, and then inside there, the knife is held in this sort of like clamshell style packaging open. Preferably would like to see maybe them send the knife closed, um, not just for safety, but you know, the packaging could be a lot smaller. See a little bit of information there, relentless by design. And at the base here too, you can see we've got the QR code. So you've got the Specialty Knives and Tools LLC, USA company, all rights reserved. And this one was made in China as well. So here it is. SOG Terminus slip joint. Really useful bit of, tit, bit of kit. And it is a really sort of tactical style UK legal knife. We have this milled G10, which is designed to sort of look like carbon fiber. You can see the light moving on it. Nice bit of jimping at the top here, makes it really sort of grippy in the hand. And one thing I've really been liking about this is I'm not a big fan of pocket clips. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you know that any sort of modern knife I use, the very few I have, I always remove them. Um, it'll probably still be the case with this because I just, I just don't like how they feel in the hand. But I will say... I cannot feel that pocket clip at all. It fits nicely in the grooves of my fingers and I can't feel it there. I could comfortably use this knife all day and not have any concerns about getting hot spots from the, the clip at all. So we have SOG on the clip as well. We have T6 hardware all over. You can see it's a straight through design with this G10 backspacer. You will have to take the scales off if you wish to remove the clip though. As you can see it goes over the scales and underneath the liner. But you can reverse that to both sides. You can see the groove here on the other side as well. We have the Cryo D2 tool steel. Holds an edge fantastically well this Cryo D2. And I mean I'm a massive fan of D2. We have a nice little nail notch there. Terminus SJ on the blade on this sort of black wash DLC finish. Edge, really immaculate, both sides all the way round. We have a nice sharpening choil on there too. And this is a slightly different um, slip joint, but obviously there's no back spring. But they've incorporated the spring into the liners. Let me see if I can get a view for you guys. It's quite hard to show. Yeah, you can just about see it there. So that bit would lift up instead of having a back spring. So this little ball here when you open the knife it rolls along the sort of the tang and then snaps into place in that little groove but that does mean that there is little to no action or snap i mean it, you can get all the way to here before there's any sort of lock in but it is strong enough that i know that's not going to fall out advertise as well as a two hand opening but you can if you do the thumb and middle finger pinch and roll you can open it one handed for the guys that like doing that I know we've been through the blade length on the box, but I always like to double check that for myself. So tip to tang is, yeah, it's within that three inch and the cutting edge is even less. So I'd have no concerns carrying this at all. We're looking at maybe a 2.8 inch cutting length. Been using this the last sort of couple of weeks and I have been really enjoying it. I will say I've been using it as a hard use knife around the house, breaking down boxes. I've used it in the garden a couple of times. Um, I've even used it for a couple of different cooking things. Just wanted to see how it fared. And I've stropped it once in that time. D2 steel holding up its edge perfectly. S study and observations group by SOG. So there we go, guys. That is the Terminus SJ for slip joint and the Aegeus MT. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.